Hey guys, what's up? This is Ferret Boy, and I decided why not try gaming. So I'm going to be doing some commentary while I play some games. And funny story about Super Mario Maker is I decided to create this super world while I was in the shower. I don't know why. I just was like, you know what? I want to create a world. So I did. I got the first four, four worlds done in a day and the rest over the span of a couple weeks, so the first world is not very creative, but I'm going to be trying to do these in segments of world and world, so this part probably won't be as much fun as the second part, but I think it'll be fun. Mostly just depends on what you like. We got a simple now we got to surround the question mark block and we got Goombas. So unfortunately for this first segment, it's not very simple, but I'm gonna add like, on my own stuff. We got this little on-off switch here. And it turns that mushroom platform on, which otherwise would be stale. Going to be hydrated, it's very important. I need those coins. I don't know why I made 49. Maybe it's just to make the person that it's not 50. I don't know. But, first course, done easy. Boom. Let's get on to the second one. Here we go. I also made mushroom houses because you might have noticed, but you only get five lives, and I like to not get him over. It's not so I tried to make the enemies appropriate for most of us, like Ghost in the Ghost House. Oh jeez. Ghost in the Ghost House, Goombas in first levels, Bomb Lance, Fish on the Because I know some people like to play this game where you just kill ton of enemies or you make a sandy hard course. Like, I saw this one course that, like, every single time is full of some sort of block. And there is like, I think it took this one out of 80 hours to be. Yeah, I could not see putting that much time just to be able to find the first one. I like the first one. These ones. They're simple, yet there's some problems with them. It's not possible. Well, I guess no one like records the fast one, but there it is. It's impossible. Except for that one part when I kicked, jumped, or all jumped off the brick, but we don't talk about that part. We only talk about the part where I'm actually doing good. So through the pipe, you'll see I've knocked in the course. That's just for... That's why I call it secret course. Dang it. Should have had that. I was too busy talking, too busy rambling. But, anyway. Basically, I like to put secret courses in. That allow you to get more lives if you complete them. Not every world has it, though, because the harder the world, the more courses required. Oh, yeah. But like I was saying earlier about like, being on this, it took me about like, three weeks to create everything. It 
took me two weeks to create the first Sun Worlds. Recently, I decided why not create the uh, Eighth World. And you guys will see later if like, the Eighth World was really necessary. I just thought it would be a fun idea. But I don't want to Now this is super hard to complete without the cat suit. Let's just go to the narrow edge. Yep, there we go. I like to make each flag post different. Like, you no, know, it's the, the other one was a pawn jump, this one's a pipe jump. The one previous to that, I already forgot because I have a terrible memory, but well, we don't talk about that. But yeah, I like to try to make stuff unique, make it creative. Yeah, got five. <laughs> Just realized I have 99 coins. I reminds me of this one course I made. You had to collect 99 coins. It was in the original Mario Maker. The goal is to collect 99 coins, but I couldn't make it enforced because there wasn't any course requirements or completion requirements, whatever people call them. But, anyway. So, I made this one course. It was a coins in different spots. I think it was pretty creative, but that's back when I thought most of my ideas were creative. If I went back and played that now, I wonder how it would be compared to like some of the crazy ones. So we just gotta wait for this guy to. I could have saved myself a life if I didn't go for those coins. The great thing to me is like, how does the coins get a Mario or Toad with an actual life? Like, is it seeing the extra riches? Like, does it give them dopamine? Like, does it make them appear? That gives them more energy? Or like, I don't know, it's just something I really thought about ever since, uh, I've been being introduced to game science. It's been a really interesting topic for me to think about. Looks like if I'm lucky, I could complete this entire thing in 11 minutes. Yeah, I liked using the Mario 3D World. Mario 3D World thing. You got the Mario Brothers U one, though. Just a lot more useful. Most of the different things. Show that. Now I try to make this as absolutely as possible. This is probably the lamest boss battle I've ever did. Like I said, lame is plus I ever created. I think I'm going to end this episode off here then. Thank you guys for watching this episode.
I do appreciate all the support I get. It's just fun seeing that people like to hear me talk. I can ramble on for hours, but next time I'll continue rambling on. But for this time, I will see you guys in the next episode.